All right, we showed how to set up your contingency anchor with a rig to lower. Then we showed you kind of a hasty mode when you don't have a bunch of equipment to be able to turn that rig to lower into a rig to raise. So now we're gonna show you just using some components from the Phantom Personal Haul Kit, how we can do that pretty easy also. So with that, we're gonna set this up into a four to one configuration, a four to one to change of direction. And we're gonna click this right on in to our multi-loop anchor up there. So this is gonna be where a person's in trouble right here on the line on the right hand side. And we are just going to connect that T-block in. At this point, we're gonna run that T-block as far down as we can. We're gonna grab a rope man. And this is gonna act as the progressive capture once we release this rig to lower. So we're gonna ring that all the way down and realize that we can, if we wanted to, we could go even further down just by releasing that gate and pulling that down. So we have that set up. We know that our cam is activated and we're in a system where we can do that. Now we're gonna release our load, just do a load transfer. We're gonna release that off our rig to low. So as we come in, we're gonna snap that down. The weight of that we're gonna release and then basically our four to one system our haul system is going to take that load and be holding it for us so at this point we can just release that totem now what we're going to use that rope man for is we're going to use that as a progressive capture so this is going to go back into that carabiner like we said before we want it in a position to where we're going to pull up slack this way so we're just going to put that rope man right on in there Set that up, and that's gonna be what allows us to do resets while we're hauling. This will come right in there. We take that slack up, and now as we raise, casualties coming up, we take that slack out, release our cam here, and then we can run that T-block down to do our resets. Cam gets activated and we pull that on up. The slack, you'll see, is getting up where that rope man is. All that slack reminds us that before we can do a reset, we just have to pull that slack out. That's on. That allows us to now reset our system here. Cam goes up, and then we can reset. And that's how we do it with the Phantom Personal Hall Kit.